Hello, welcome back to my channel for another fucking banger. Literally, I haven't made a video in so long, but you know, I got my hair straightened, so you know, I gotta, I gotta use the opportunity to make a video. So this video is going to be, I'm probably gonna post it like seven months later. Um, but for whoever is starting law school. I'm literally starting my last year of law school. By the time this video is posting, I'm going to be a 3 -er. And that is insane. That is literally flabbergasting. I cannot believe it. I feel grateful. I, I can't. I literally can't. I can't. You know, I kept complaining about how slow the time was going. And I still feel like it's going too slow for me. But I need to appreciate this moment in life because I don't get this moment back. You know, it's been a very tough, tough, tough journey. Incredibly tough, okay? But I'm going to tell you guys, or whoever's watching, even if it's just one person, if I were starting law school again from scratch, the things that I would do differently, some of these things I already did. However, there's, I think there's a few things that I would do differently. The first thing I'm going to tell you prior to getting into law school not getting into law school, but starting law school is I want you to correct your mind because this is something that requires you to have a stable, stable mind. This is something that requires your mental strength. Okay. You need to build your mental strength prior to starting law school. And the reason that I'm saying this is because law school is going to test your mental strength. The people in your life are going to test your mental strength. And when I say that, it's not that they mean to do this, but despite you being in law school, you're still a person. You still have relationships. You still have a life. Okay. So just making sure that your mind is in the right place and your emotions are stable is going to be the first thing that I would do differently. Um, I think that my mind was okay, but I did not actively, intentionally work on my mind in terms of emotional stability prior. Now, the second aspect of this mental thing is going to be how you think about law school. I think that how you think everything literally starts with your thoughts where where's okay okay this is meditation by marcus aurelius i would tell somebody to read this it has nothing to do with law school but i think that marcus aurelius really talked about your mind how your thoughts are really really important literally your life is a reflection of your thoughts if you don't like your life or if you think something is hard, it's challenging that you cannot do it, you can't, you know? You need to also change your language and say things like, I don't understand this yet. I cannot do this yet. Rather than saying final things such as I can't, I'm not good enough, things like that. You want to make sure that your mind and how you view law school and how you, do, how you view your capacity is where it needs to be. Because law school is a very competitive environment. And if you're like me, you're very calm, not really non non confrontational at all. Like I'm type A, but not the type A that's that you're going to experience in law school if you have my my type of personality. So you want to make sure that you're confident in yourself and in your abilities and you're not comparing yourself to other people. Because if you're comparing yourself to other people, you will never be other people. You will never be them. So the only person that you can be is yourself. And you want to make sure that you are confident in yourself because you got here and you are here because you deserve to be here. Okay. There is no point to compare yourself to your classmates, classmates. And while I'm still on this train of classmates, you want to make sure that you do not underestimate your classmates. Okay. Your classmates also deserve to be here and they worked hard to be here. Okay, so you want to make sure that you're not like, oh, I got a 167 and I'm going to get an A, whatever, in law school, okay? Because everybody's smart, everybody deserves to be here and do not doubt their capacity. View your law school classmates as teammates rather than competition. See, I viewed them like teammates rather than competition. So I really did not struggle with that competition thing that a lot... A lot of people may experience in law school because you're not my competition. 
I'm here because I deserve to be here and I'm here because I worked hard to be here and I know that if I work my best, it will be okay. It, it will be okay as long as I put my best foot forward. So you want to make sure that you do that. Next up, you want to make sure that you are not involved in any drama, okay? Do not be talking about your classmates, your professors. First of all, it's just unethical. And when I say unethical, not necessarily that it's a bad thing, but I guess this is bias. bias. This is just my own beliefs. I just don't believe in that. You should be doing that um, because it's not good. You're, you're going to be working with these people, maybe not directly. Um, however, these are your, your colleagues and you want to make sure that you have a very high standard of behavior for yourself and you make sure that you, you, you uphold good values, okay? Values that a lawyer, a good lawyer would have, okay? Next up, we're going to get into the doctrinal component of this. Now you've got your mind right, you've got your confidence up, you've got your mental health well, you have put your life in order prior to going into law school. Um, you have very, very stable, strong people around you. We're going to get into the meat now, okay? The meat of probably what you want. Number one, it is impossible for everyone to get A's in law school because there is a curve in law school. That means it is statistically impossible for all of you to get A's or even a large number of you to get A's. Because of this curve, you are very unlikely to get A's. Now, I'm not saying that you can't because I got A's, so I know that you can also get them. However, this is not what you should be thinking about. You, th you should think about doing your best, putting your best foot forward and working hard and smart, by the way, because I feel like if you do your best, no matter what grade you get, I think that it's okay because it was your best, okay? So you want to make sure that you are doing um, that. Secondly, you know yourself. You have went through how many years of school? Like 20 by, by the time that you get to law school? Or like 18 years? I don't know. Um, so you know what has worked for you. You know your learning style. Stick to that. When you get into law school, a lot of information is going to be thrown at you. This is how you study. Outline this. Do that. This is how you how you read a uh, text. Blah, 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 blah. It's going to be too much information thrown at you. So I want you to remember who you are. How do I study? What has worked for me? Do I like to listen? Do I like to watch? Do I take notes in class? Do what works for you, not what everybody else is doing. And this ties back to that initial thing that I talked about, about confidence and knowing yourself. See, what I did wrong was trying to take notes in class. I know myself. I don't take notes in class, okay? Even prior, I sit there and I listen like a crazy lady because I just can't write and comprehend and understand at the same time. So I personally, I'm going to listen because when I go home, I can rewatch lectures. Maybe that's a waste of time for some people, but I can take notes differently, okay? I can take notes differently because that in-class time is so pivotal for me as somebody that learns that way. Once I'm writing in class, I'm not going to learn as well. If I'm strictly listening, I probably do not need to study. That, that literally is how well I remember the information. For, for instance, my wills, trusts, and estates class, I literally did not need to study because I did not take notes. My brain just literally just remembered everything. And when I tell you everything, I'm literally not underestimating the level of everything. Like, like the rules too. You know how you, you usually need to like study the rules? No, I need the rules. And that's crazy because prior, prior to that, that was not the case. Intellectual property, same thing. I did not need to put in a lot of effort at the end because my effort was was at the start so you kind of do it like a I, I, don't, I don't have a word for it kind of like a mountain right you go like this and then drop it um, as time goes on 
And then with regards to the different courses, you want to make sure that you have a different strategy for each one of them because I think that some things are maybe your strength, some things may not be your strength. So you want to make sure that your, your strategy is connected to your strength and is connected to your subject matter. Because the way that you study for con law is not going to be the same way that you're going to study for torts. Well, the way that you study for torts is not going to be the same way that you study for property. At least that's what I found, okay? So you got to take this with a grain of salt because it's solely for my worldview and my perspective. So, yeah. Next. Practice, 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 practice. You want to learn how to brief a case. Totally learn how to brief a case. It's really important that you know how to brief a case. You want to be able to go look at a case and be able to pick up the most important information as quickly as you can, as efficiently as you can, as correctly as you can. Next, the point of reading cases, I feel like you also want to learn how to think like a lawyer and reason and see how they got to the conclusion that they got to and why. Okay. Besides that, I just don't see any other point to that besides that. So I think the bulk of your effort should be into getting the knowledge that you've gotten from class and transposing it into practice exams because just because you know a rule does not mean that you can apply it correctly okay i knew rules that does not mean that i could apply them correctly right so you want to make sure that you're practicing 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 also find some upper years that have outlines and ask for your outlines and some people may take notes using the outline just adding to it others may make a new outline i have never made a, an outline in law school personally because that just doesn't work for me um like i said just do what works for you i followed how i learned to the t literally to the t i did not take notes in class except when i knew that this is not my strength i i utilized other people's outlines i made sure that i was practicing that by the time that i have walked into this this exam i've seen so many types of questions okay if your school provides quimby utilize quimby utilize quimby listen to videos literally whenever like i'd be driving um like out of state i would listen to lectures whether whether that's a tax lecture wills trust and estates lecture like i would literally be doing problems while i'm driving mentally i don't know how to explain that but literally i i i just did that so make sure that in your daily life you incorporate law school in your daily life the way of thinking in your daily life because i don't think everybody kind of thinks how you need to think some people it comes more natural to them than others but others not so your grades are going to be a reflection of your practice and how well you can apply your rules okay because i think there's a lot of people that like definitely maybe studied more or less but did better or less due to the lack of practice and giving yourself enough time with the material you want to make sure that you spend more time actually studying for law school rather than doing your readings for law school because you're not going to be tested on your readings unfortunately okay what else would i do differently when it comes to friendship i think the thing that i would have done differently is maybe try to make friends I made absolutely no effort to make any friends, like absolutely none, none whatsoever. That's probably because that is my personality. That is not everyone's personality. I, I already have my friends prior, prior to law school that I talk to often. So I just did not feel the need to make any friends, which for me was very detrimental in terms when my mental health was not good. I actually did have people to talk to let me let me not hold you let me not hold you I did I think that the friends that I actually do have in law school are really great people there's literally like two people well now there's like four okay I've, I've added to this list because I've made effort to respond to texts to be a better a better you know like you know you know just like put myself out there that that was a way to challenge myself this year so i don't really have that same experience anymore but literally i'd get invited to things i would not go unless somebody was there with me i just i just really did not make effort so you want to make sure that you put effort because these people know what you're going through more than anybody else probably will okay i feel like um 
the closest person to me in my life i kind of incorporate them into everything so i feel like they probably did know what i was going through because i would literally study with them i made their life a living hell like we did con law together like i would force them to quite literally listen to me talk about things that i was learning in law school so if you have somebody like that that you can talk to about whatever it is that you're learning like get get it out of you in a in a way that you need to get it out of you like for an exam that would be very helpful and next you want to make sure that law school does not affect your personality okay just because you're in law school just because you are in a very logical very masculine energy especially if you are a woman or you're a man in a relationship you want to make sure that you do not bring this way of thinking into your relationships you, you don't want to um attach attack someone's emotions with logic you want to come for emotion with emotion this is something that i struggled with um prior to law school too and something i probably do struggle with still i'm very as sensitive as i am it's so weird that i'm also extremely logical so sometimes instead of coming at a problem from a very emotional point of view i'm coming from it from a logical point of view and like your partner does not need that your partner does not need that they they need their partner they don't need the lawyer side of you okay cool what else would i do differently i did not network whatsoever um i don't think that was very pivotal for me going to events and stuff because i networked mostly like one-on-one -on -one. i utilized linkedin message lawyers talk to them met with them um stuff like that is going to be really helpful your summer job make sure that you're talking to people there as well um just so that you hear different perspectives of different things i didn't really um do networking events for judges night things like that because i feel like it's harder to make an impression there's so many people they're gonna meet so many people that night so I just rather use a little energy that I have on a more focused approach, a more strategic approach. You need to exercise. You need to exercise and see a therapist. Okay, that's it. <laughs> that's all. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful. I hope that I post it in the first place because I feel like I wish I knew a lot of this stuff or that I thought about them prior. Don't stress yourself out about things that don't matter. Focus really a lot on your grades. In my two year, I also did too much, too, too much. But I think that doing too much actually helps me personally because my time is more focused, okay? So yeah, I think that's it. Thanks for watching and I hope it helps. If you have any questions or you need any application help to law school, have any questions, just don't hesitate to dm me on legal, legally mundane i will i will respond and talk you through everything because that's what i'm here for and i feel like there should be more of us just willing to share whatever knowledge we've got so that's all that i've got for you today thanks for watching see you next video